Hey everyone, Fleas here. I'm going to be showing you a quick little uh, tutorial on uh, how to be a good little flag carrier for the team deathmatch mode of Tribes Ascend. It's still in open beta right now, and it's uh, scheduled to be released on April 12th. I'm just going to try and chase this. Oh, we'll try and get the flag now, and, and I won't be showing you right away. It'll be the next round, but that's okay. So this is my first little live tutorial that I'm doing, so if you have any ideas on how to improve these videos, please leave your feedback in the comments below. Um, also, please don't mind my shooting right now. I just flew in on a business trip. Um, I'm playing on hotel uh, Wi-Fi right now, and I'm a little punchy, uh, whatever that means. But that shouldn't get in the way of uh, showing how to run with the flag, unless I start running into things like that. But I should be okay. So I'm going to try and chase this guy now. Looks like he's coming my way. Hello. Alrighty. So now I have the flag. First thing you want to do is notice the score when you grab the flag. It was uh, 72 to 69. This, uh, this lets you gauge how much you're contributing to your team by holding the flag and it also shows how effective your teammates are um, while we're in possession. Um, keep in mind every kill your team gets is worth two points while holding the flag while kills are only worth one point while not holding it or while the other team is holding it. Does that make sense? Good. Alright. So I didn't get a chance to show you this um, but when you do grab the flag you want to make sure you're going at a good speed if you grab the flag at a slow speed you might be known as a llama grabber and this is bad basically holding the flag at a slow pace makes it much easier for you to die um, so if you see someone about to grab the flag at a faster rate than you it's best just to back off and let them take it um, once you have the flag at a good speed you want to take the flag around the perimeter as much as possible and this is because of two reasons uh, number one the perimeter uh, um, on the maps are designed for you to keep going fast with some nice little ski slopes and whatnot um, the other big reason is because when you're flying around the perimeter you have a reduced area of exposure to attack what I mean by that is um, you only have to worry about who's behind you and who's to the right of you. There's nobody on the other side of the perimeter. Whereas when you fly through the middle like I just did there, you're going to get all angles of fire on you. So now people are saying, well, if you're telling us to go around the perimeter, why are you cutting through the middle? Why are you lying to me? Um, basically, there are reasons why you want to cut through the middle. The main thing is when you start getting heat on you, um, someone's behind you chasing you, what you want to do is fly through the middle because uh, this is likely where your teammates are and uh, they're going to handle uh, the chasers that are on your back. Um, so they'll either slow them down or hopefully kill them and then you can get back out to the perimeter um, where it's safer again. So basically those are the, are the main principles. Um, you want to uh, fly around the perimeter as much as possible, stick to it as long as you can, and when you start getting heat on you, um, take them right through the middle. Now mind you, if this was uh, a smaller uh, team deathmatch, like a 4 on 4 or whatever, I'd be contributing on the fighting more, but it's at least 10 on 10. So um, I'm going to let the rest of my teammates handle, uh, handle the kills for me. Right now we only need three more points and it will be a successful uh, run with Team Deathmatch here. I guess now would be a perfect time to uh, promote myself one more time. You can like, subscribe, dislike, delete me from your browser history, whatever you want to do. There's our win. You can see the score, it's uh, 40 to nothing. And when I first grabbed the flag it was 72 to 69. So that I would say that's definitely... Uh, a good flag run for sure. You see that in the middle of the pack which is great because that just shows that my teammates both above me and below me um, made some great contributions as well.